Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Look, I yawned and made her yawn too. Um, I don't understand something. Let me, let me see if I can try and do an analogy. Let's say you are in a relationship and your significant other is constantly telling you you're just not worth it or you're just worthless or, you know, you're, you're, you're just not the one, you know, I could be with somebody else, right? Or maybe I'll look at having somebody else. Maybe that's not the best analogy. Let's say, let's say at your job, okay, let's say you go to work. And you do your job, and you do your job really well. In fact, let's say you build cabinets. Let's say you build 36 cabinets in a week. The other guy right here, he builds 20 or 25. And they tell you, you need to look out for the company, and you need to take less money than the guy who's making 25 cabinets a week and you're making 36. How would you feel in those situations? If you're in that relationship where you're constantly told, eh, you're not worth it. You're nothing. I can replace you. You know, how would you feel about that situation? Because here's the thing that's kind of crazy is, first of all, fans worry about how much somebody gets paid when it's first of all not their money not whether a guy gets 20 million 30 million 40 million or 50 million it's not changing the amount of food on your plate it's not it's not really affecting you at all it's no it's not like now you got to pay more at the grocery store because player a got more money it doesn't would you in your job say, you know what, I'm going to be a team guy for the company and I'm going to take less and the next guy in the line is not taking less? He's not doing the same thing to help the team? He's looking to max out as much money as possible? Or better yet, that they're taking your money to pay the other guy? How would you feel about that? Because if you don't like that, then don't be trying to tell somebody else how they should feel. Because here's the thing that's kind of crazy to me in my mind is how the Cowboys, whenever it's time to pay somebody that has played well, and you can't look and say CeeDee Lamb, who has um, set the Dallas Cowboys all season, uh, all time, single season record in catches. Um, your quarterback, who has been a runner-up as MVP twice now, the closest other person to that would be Troy Aikman in 93, where he was fifth in MVP voting, as far as a quarterback goes. Or Micah Parsons, who has more sacks than anybody except for Reggie White to start a career. That somehow these guys are bad guys in the same way that Des Bryant was a bad guy. Because, you know, all of a sudden we start hearing all these stories and rumors about Des Bryant and so on. That he wasn't worth the money that uh, he should be being paid. Zeke Elliott, you know, of course. You remember when Zeke was holding out? Zeke who? Zeke who? Why is it that you have people who are performing... Instead of them getting the deals done where they're economically viable, that they screw up. It's not that the, the players screwing up. They make them wait. And the longer we wait, we all can look and see that um, 10 years ago, I believe it was um, Drew Brees was the highest paid quarterback at $18 million. It was just 10 years ago. Just 10 years ago. I believe it was only... Was it six years ago that Kirk Cousins was at 28? So it's not like it's a surprise that there's inflation in getting guys paid. Why don't we, instead of constantly berating 
and making them feel worthless. Why don't we try and pump them up and say, you're our guy. We believe in you. We're going to give you this check because we believe in you. Let's go build something together. Because to me, it creates more of every man for themselves as opposed to we're all in this foxhole together fighting the bad guys. That's the thing I don't understand. And the funny thing is we always hear, remember we heard, we're not going to reset the market, Zeke Elliott, and things like that. And they didn't reset the market. They blew it out of the water. We went through with D-Law. Well, you know, we thought we had a deal for $19 million. Now he wants 21. And you end up wasting time. He ends up not getting his shoulder worked on, which literally wasted a season, and he still got the 21. And the whole thing with Dak, you know, well, you know, you Dak got to understand he got to leave some money on the table for everybody else and then still gets his money. Why do we have to go through the dog and pony show that you guys are so great at negotiating and then you screw the pooch? And in the meantime, why do we create hard feelings with the players? I don't see this except for, I guess, San Francisco right now with uh, Debo Samuels uh, last year and now Brandon Ayuk, but I don't see this with other teams. seems like they are in it together. But, you know, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll, and my wife's passed out over there on the bed, and... Um, I'm cleaned up and ready to go to bed myself, and I'm tired. I'm real tired. But um, I'm very happy and excited. It's already June, and about seven weeks, training camps will open up, and it'll be on. Whew. It will be on. So, good people, I'm tired. But my heart is full. And I always try to remind you guys to tell the people that you love how much you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. Uh, don't forget, we got a couple of things we're going to be doing. Um, channel memberships. I'm going to be posting. I'm, I've been busy up here. My wonderful bride <coughs> has created a, a new website. And membership um, uh, website as well. She's going to be managing that. And we're going to be getting new shot glasses. We're going to be doing. <sighs> Sorry. We're going to be doing Cowboys Mafia shot glasses, which will be nice. Uh, so all the tailgate members will be getting those as well. And we'll see what we can do for everybody else. Um, remember, tell those people how much you love them. You might not get the chance again. And I love you guys. And uh, God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.